This video can be titled uh, Directional Terms Used in Anatomy and Physiology. The first one I'll introduce you to is what we say when we mean something is higher up on the human body, up here, or when something is lower down on the human body. If the structure that is being operated on or palpated or somehow examined, we say that it is superior. And if it is down farther on the body, we say it's inferior. So these structures can be superior or inferior compared to one another. Then there's a lot of talk about the limbs, especially when people break their arms or their legs or their fingers or their ankles. Some structures are closer to the torso on a limb and some are farther away. So if someone broke their leg and it was near the head of the femur that attaches to the pelvis, we would say it was the proximal femur that was broken. If they broke their leg down where it connects to the tibia, we would say the distal end of the femur. So usually when we're talking about limbs, the terms used are proximal and distal. So, if you look at the arm, the same pattern, where you hear this one a lot is with the radius. People think that they've broken their wrist, but actually they've broken the bottom of their lower arm bones. So they might say that they've broken the distal end of their radius. The proximal end of the radius would be up near the elbow. So the closer in proximity that something is to the torso, we say proximal, and the greater distance from the torso, we say distal. Another way we can talk about structures is how close they are to the middle of the body. So I'm going to use an orange highlighter here to compare medial and lateral. So, for example, the heart is medial in location to a kidney, right? Because the kidneys are on the lateral sides of your body, right around here. And the heart would be up here. So the heart would actually be superior and medial to a kidney. Okay, now on these cute little figures here, I'm going to teach you just a couple of more terms. If you're looking at a human from the side and considering a structure more toward the front of their body, we call it anterior. Sorry, this pink pen is giving up the ghost. Anterior. If it's toward the back, it's the posterior. So in fact, my mom I used to tell me to keep my posterior in my chair during dinner because I had a hard time sitting still. So anterior is toward the front, posterior is toward the back. Here are a couple other terms you're going to hear that are s similar. Ventral would be toward the front or the belly, and then dorsal toward the back. So this will come up with the spinal cord when we talk about the ventral or anterior parts of the spinal cord are where motor output goes to make your muscles move, and the do dorsal or posteri posterior sides of the spinal cord are where sensory information comes in. Okay, and then the last two terms I'm going to write in green. If the patient is laying on his or her back, or maybe the doctor tells you to position the person in the supine position on their back, I like to think of it as they're staring at the pine trees. So they must be laying on their back. And then the opposite term is prone. 
the patient is needs to be laying face down for a procedure.